Tonight, Chinese Taipei gets to go in front of this packed house. Pre-game festivities already underway, facing an upstart Panama team that made it through the qualifiers to be here. Not only is Panama here, maybe the greatest Panamanian baseball player ever born is here with them. Mariano Rivera in the house tonight. Look at the shape he's in. Came out and threw out the first pitch. I know, I was impressed. Obviously, he's trying out the first pitch. This is impressive. Now the strike to his ex-teammate, Chen Ming Wang. I love it. But you mentioned it too, he's in good shape. But good to see this kind of presence with Mariano Rivera here. Got one of three catchers on this roster for Chinese Taipei. The guy who plays his ball in the Chinese Professional Baseball League in this ballpark, the CTPC brothers. And look at that play by Christian Bethencourt, who was able to get the batter runner, Yuji Gao, out in front of the plate, actually knocked him down, and then got the out on Jung, headed to second, so that turns in to a 1-6 double play. And Weiping Lin, I believe, is going to contend that Bettencourt prevented Gao from having an opportunity to run to first. If anything, it's runners interference in that situation. You know what else I'm wondering, too, is if the conversation may be he never tagged him with the ball. So actually, it just turns into a double play by going 1-6-3. The out was not recorded on Gao on the ball off his bat. So it turns into a 1-6-3 double play. That's the clarification. Two gone, and all of a sudden, Chishun Chun comes to the plate. Back up the middle and picked on a hop out at short by Ruben Zahada. Long throw in time to get him for the final out of the second inning. What a play by the veteran Ruben Tejada to close the inning. The leadoff man for Panama here in the top of the fourth is the nine-year big leaguer Ruben Tejada. Placed down the left field line. That is a fair ball, and that's going to curl into the corner. Extra bases for Ruben Tejada, who is into second with a leadoff double, the second in as many innings for Panama. And this is a huge, huge opportunity for Panama. They have to weigh him out. He is not throwing strikes laboring absolutely on his last leg have to force him to throw strikes in this situation first two on for panama here in the top of the fourth 1-0 right side that'll scoot through for a base hit rounding third here comes tahada the throw to the plate from lynn is high and tahada slides in under it it's an rbi knock for Luis Castillo and a 1-0 lead for Panama on the top of the fourth. And the new arm into the game is the reigning CPPL Rookie of the Year, Kwam Wei Chen. Wei Chuan Dragons right-hander. 2-2 Two -two to Caballero. Left side, that's there for a base hit. Past the dive of Chong. It's going to bring in the lead runner, Caballero. Castillo will hold it third. An RBI single for Jose Caballero and a 2-0 lead for Panama in the fourth. And now Yadiel Santa Maria, who led off the third inning with a double in a big spot here, first and third, and nobody out. 2 0 pitch. Crushed out in the left center. This is going to split the alleyway, and it'll get all the way to the wall. Easily in from third, Luis Castillo. Jose Caballero scores two doubles out of the nine spot for Yadiel Santa Maria and Panama breaking this thing open in the fourth with a 4 0 lead. So two gone now, and Christian Bethencourt will try to add a run to this already four-run inning, and here's the one-two. Bethencourt to right, that's down for a base hit. Rounding third base comes Santa Maria. The throw to the plate is not going to be in time to get him as it deflects off of Gao's glove, and it is a 5-0 lead for Panama here in the fourth. Panama is a talent-rich, baseball history-rich country that's been waiting 14 years to return to this stage because they fell short in the last moments of the qualifiers. That's why every game is so important in this opening round as this ball is charged in the air to right field. Giving it chase is Castillo, and oh, he collides with Ramos, and he hangs on out in right center, I believe. Racing all the way around, Sung Ja Jung, and fans going crazy here, but that's an out.
off one. Back up the middle, that's into center field, and Chinese Taipei is on to the board at the bottom of the fifth on an RBI single by who else? Yu Chang. And the first pitch is back to the backstop, and the throw to the plate is not going to be in time to get Jose Caballero, and on the wild pitch, Panama has gotten the run back. It's a 6-1 game. The strength is supposed to be the command as well. You're not going to see flame throws. Zong, you see on the mound right now, he can get it up there, and his command is usually strong, so this is another base hit. All right, who's back up the middle? That's going to bring in two more as Santa Maria and Cordoba score, and Panama busting this thing open, and now we're starting to get close to the point where you talk about the early termination rule coming into play. One, two. Tejada down the right field line. This is going to be trouble, and it's out over the head of Chang. It'll bring in at least one, as everybody else will hold. Arauz scores. Bethancourt to third, Ramos to second. Another run home in the inning, and it is a 9-1 Panama lead in the sixth. Yeah, General Chang removed due to lower back tightness as this one has lays back up the middle that's in the center field for a base hit and it could bring home that 10 run margin it will it's a two run single for Erasmo Caballero and Panama has a 10 run lead here in the sixth it's 11 to 1. off the glove of a leaping Dottie Altanta Maria and down the right field line that will bring in a run that cuts the deficit to nine for Chinese Taipei so that could extend this game as Sum Cha Chung comes through out of the top spot of the order. And Jing Wu trying to get this inning on legs for Chinese Taipei. Ball well struck in the air to center field. Moving back on it is Ramos, and that ball is gone. Yenting Wu with the first home run of the 2023 World Baseball Classic. And he gets his team a little closer. It's an eight run deficit now in the seventh. Justin Lawrence finishes off the final out in a game that took four hours and one minute. It was worth every moment of the wait for this Panama national team. Congratulations to Luis Ortiz and his squad. The first win for Panama in the history of the World Baseball Classic and a very impressive one tonight. And for Chinese Taipei, someone back to the drawing board.